Um, just the ball movement. You know, our ball movement is key. Got to get them moving to side for side because if, you know, you let them stand and, and switch, they're elite. Three times. Mike? All right, Lisa. Well, that ball movement led to 38 assists that they don't get back defensively. And now Harper gets behind the defense and an easy bucket to tie it. Isaiah Jackson. He's got Derek White on him. Jackson goes hard. Second effort, long go. Almost had another one. Poked away. Siakam on holiday. White, Brown, Hauser, and Horford out there. Again, Al Horford gets inside, missed the layup. The follow won't go, but he grabs another offensive rebound. Almost poked away. Hauser, corner three, in and out. Brown, an offensive rebound, puts it up and in. Two things. He said he's only played five games in 16 minutes so far in these playoffs, and comes up with a rebound. Played 55 games during the regular season. The former Pacer played three years in Indianapolis. Brown kicks it out. Good ball moving. White gets a clean look. Three-pointer. Shot's good. Everybody touched it on that position. And that starts with how dynamic Jalen Brown is in transition. He created that entire play with that drive. Neesmith gets inside. Ball poked away. It's going to be something called. Howes in the opening minutes. And I like Brissett here, Mike. I think he's got speed to guard on the perimeter. He can be opportunistic offensive rebounding. I think this is a good series for him. Brown foul. Shot won't go. McConnell picks up. Hit. And that front court rotation obviously changed. We await the return of Chris Stapp's Porzingis. There's been some practices out there studying, watching film, but has yet to return to practice. And as for reports that he might be on track to return during the series, Missoula told us pregame he had no idea where that information is coming from and that to his knowledge, there is still no timetable for Chris Stapp's return. All right, Lisa, thank you. Turner gets it inside, turns, can't get it to go. J.J. Where they miss Porzingis most? Offense, offensive end, or at the defensive end? Agree, you miss him on offense because of his ability to pick and pop against Turner and against smaller lineups that the Pacers can throw out. He can punish switches. Brown punishes from downtown. His second three-pointer. Brown's got 14 points, and the Celtics have a double-digit lead. Siakam back in. Halliburton set to check back in. And a reach-in foul. Eastman went across the lane and got hit. Legitimate case, but you got to take somebody off as Brown misses that. Halliburton the rebound. Halliburton. Nimhard, quick release. That one in and out. Mason shooting has dropped down to 44%. Alley up to Brown. Banks it in on a gorgeous feed from Holiday. Back cut. He's already gotten two of those tonight. Turner has White on him. White trying to poke it away. Knocked out of bounds. And last touch by Turner. Pacers up. Remember the Pacers fell behind and Brown gets inside. He's fouled. Pacers fell behind on vacancies. Halliburton. Eastman. Top it. Halliburton finds a spot. Three-pointer. Back of the rim won't go. Harper pulls in the rebound. They went for the steal. Neesmith can't get it. Orford can. Remember, this is the, the top scoring team in the NBA, regular season and playoffs, and they haven't scored for nearly five minutes here in the second. Holiday up top. Tatum drives, goes inside, left-handed. Just his second field goal. Drives on Horford. Horford, good job. Back up top, Neesmith. Easton goes inside and draws the foul. And so going back to the end of the first quarter. Finally get on the board here in the second. 13-point lead for Boston. Shot clock down to six. Brown struggles with his dribble. Now has to pull up. Jumper off the mark. Derek White tried to grab it. Couldn't. And last touch by Nimhard. Halliburton. Derek White dribbles and is fouled on it. With 6.09 left. Upcoming playoff schedule tomorrow on TNT and True TV. Halliburton lobs it out. Neesmith knocks it down. Neesmith with nine points. He's their leading scorer. That's his first three-pointer. 
Joe Mazzulla and every coach in the NBA always talk about finishing quarters. Pacers did that a number of times in game one. We still have a lot of time left in the second. Tatum off one foot. Can't get it to fall. Tatum just two of eight. And it's the Celtics up 13. Nimhard spins, turns, shoots, and scores. Let's check in with Lisa. Hey, Mike, Luke Hornet still back in the Celtics locker room. He's dealing with a left wrist sprain, questionable to return. Thank you, Lisa. White up top, Holiday. Nice feet inside. White a couple of fakes. Siakam didn't even have to jump to block that one. Halliburton, three-pointers up. Got it. Good time again, Doris. Holiday inside using the left hand. And that's just too easy, Mike. If you're the Indiana Pacers, off a of make, you've got one defender on Drew Holiday and Miles Turner at the rim, and Drew just waltzes in for an easy layup. Poor transition defense from the Pacers. Pacers in these playoffs have had some excellent defensive games. Celtics are only shooting 44%. And again, so many offensive rebounds. Hauser cuts back door, knocked out of his hands. He thought he got hit. Still Celtic ball.